Hello fellow wet shavers, Brian here with the Wet Shave Experience. Thanks for tuning in today. Hey, if you haven't been here before and you're new, hopefully you'll like what you see and you'll consider subscribing below. If you've been here before, welcome back and thanks for joining. This is the first video I've done of 2021. I hope everybody had a great new year. Ours was a little slow, we didn't do a whole lot. We just hung out with the family and kept it low key here at home for obvious reasons. Uh, hopefully you are doing well, you are safe, and your, you and your family are healthy. So my first video of the year is gonna be a top 10 list. So I haven't even shaved yet in 2021. So tomorrow will be my first 2021 shave. Uh, so be looking for that video to come out tomorrow. Um, I created a top 10 list. Uh, I tried to create some parameters, but it was really a little difficult for me. Um, I've only been wet shaving since uh, June of this year. And um, you know, there's still a lot of stuff I haven't tried and my den is still somewhat compared to some of you, uh, somewhat a little small. Uh, it's getting up there and it's building up uh, much, to, <laughs> much to my wife's dismay. Uh, I am taking over, slowly, slowly taking over the bathroom. Uh, and as of Black Friday, I'm probably taking over the bathroom a little bit more. Uh, so these are all scents that um, that's, didn't necessarily come out in 2020, but it's all new to me in 2020, so I have purchased these in 2020. And um, they, I, I didn't limit it to um, limited releases or not limited releases. These were just the top scents that I have. Some of them I don't know if they're coming back. Some of them hopefully they do come back at some other point, but I just made the top 10 scents for me from what I have in my den. Um, I do have an honorable mention though that I just got. Um, so this is like 10B and I just got this one. And this one was Hub City's Alpha. Um, and I only make this a 10B because I, I did try to weed or you know think about whether things were uh, unobtainium or not. But this is um, a Facebook group that I'm in, the uh, Wolfpack Facebook group, which was uh, created by our Canadian friends uh, wet shavers, but it's open to anybody. Uh, clearly must be open to anybody if they let me in. But um, this was a scent that was a collaboration with Hub City, and this is just fantastic. It is not probably, uh, I've heard some of the comments around the wet shaving community, it is not what we would call bold and banging, but um, you know, the scent strength is a low medium, and some people I know prefer uh, a, a much higher scent strength. Honestly, I wouldn't mind if it were a little um, more, but it's just absolutely beautiful. And so that you want to smell, I've, I've got a guest here. <laughs> this is my daughter, Carly. Oops, yeah. careful. She's going to join me and she's going to smell them. <laughs> she kind of helped me pick out some of these. Uh, I asked the kids the other night um, to pick out some. Uh, my list is a little bit different than theirs, uh, but some of them made this, uh, you know, we had in common. Uh, I also asked my wife for some help because I had a really difficult decision or time deciding between, between some of the scents because frankly, I have a lot of really good ones. Anything that I feel is a keeper uh, has been really good. Anything that I didn't feel was a keeper, it's probably already gone or on the way out. So this is my 10B, uh, Hub City's Alpha. Uh, this is one that honestly, I hope that makes it into um, David's regular lineup. Because I just think this is just fantastic. You for me. Oh, you want to smell it? Yeah. What do you think? Good. Good? All right, we got a good from Carly. Okay, so let's get into the list. <laughs> um, number 10, Declaration Grooming's Opulence. I just got this as a Black Friday purchase. It was a little delayed with all the USPS mess, um, but it did finally arrive and it was worth the wait. It was my New Year's Eve shave. I thought it was very appropriate for New Year's Eve. Uh, this is based on um, Layton, and it's just a fantastic, fantastic scent. Uh, very well blended. I can't pick out any particular notes. You're going to smell? What do you think? Thumbs up? Thumbs up? All right. We got a thumbs up on that one. Uh, and the milk steak base is just fantastic. I have a um, I have Massacre of the Innocents um, and a couple other Declaration Grooming scents, and... Um, you know, I, I think the milk steak base uh, kind of speaks for itself, and that's um, just really, really good. Yeah. Um, You're gonna write on there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so number ten, opulence from Declaration Grooming. Number nine, uh, this is Hub City's Ideal Man. This is based on uh, Santal Thirty Three. This is a fantastic scent. Uh, it's in his Raider base. Uh, I think it's a really, really excellent base. 
Uh, I think Hub City doesn't always get the props it deserves. I think um, David did a really, really good job. This is, I think, from my understanding, his entry-level base. And for an entry-level base, it's, it's really, really good for an artisan to come in um, on an entry level um, with a base this good. So uh, number 10, for, or number nine for me, Hub City's Ideal Man. You wanna smell it? What do you think? Good. Good? All right, we gotta get it. Um, number eight. Yeah, I did for, smell this one. Oh, we did. That's the one I just let you smell. Uh, number eight, Delmar Boulevard by First Line Shave. This was my first First Line Shave purchase. Um, this is based on, I think, Beaker Street. This is a fantastic um, scent as well. Uh, this was their first 3.0 base release, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this was a, a really, really good purchase. I think this came out in like July. Um, and this came out with a lot of hype and I got in on it uh, pretty early. But um, in that, and it, it's just a really, really fantastic scent. It's got a little bright appleness in the in the forefront, uh, but it's really good. I smell. You don't smell. What do you think? Thumbs up, thumbs up, there you go. She concurs. All right. Number seven. This was a um, actually a Halloween purchase. This was kind of a luxury purchase because this product is kind of on the higher, higher end or a premium purchase. So this was Holy Cow's Vore. Um, I wasn't sure about it. This was an original scent. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is absolutely great. Um, I haven't used it a lot, but, um, but it's a great, great scent. It's an original scent. Like I said, it's not an inspired by. A lot of the stuff on my list, uh, maybe I'm cologne guy, dupe guy, whatever you want to call it, but um, a lot of them are inspired by scents. This one is not. This has kind of got a nice raspberry top. Uh, it's got saffron in there. Um, I don't have all the scent notes and all this stuff because then it'd be just too long of a video for me, but this is a really, really outstanding scent. And this is in their Sierra base, which was uh, an excellent, excellent base. Daddy, I'm mm -hmm. writing likes of the one that we like. Okay, sounds good. Oh, did you smell that one? No. Oh, all right. Thumbs down, thumb, <laughs> thumbs down. <laughs> I told you, our list didn't uh, completely agree, but uh, that's a solid one for me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. All right, number six. Uh, this is also a first line shade product. This is Razor Ruby. This was also a Halloween purchase. So I did. So my very first week of um, YouTube videos was the was my Halloween themed week. So I had like uh, I had five or six Halloween soaps. So this being one of them. This is just a fantastic label. It's done by Chicano Designs. Uh, Rafa does some amazing artwork. I'm sure everybody's seen it in the community but um, it has a really cool side label uh, and everything else. And um, one would think for a Halloween scent that this would be kind of a darker scent, a fall scent, a winter scent, whatever. But this is quite the opposite. This is based on um, Eros and it's a nice floral. Um, and I, I typically wouldn't consider myself a floral fan, but it's done in such a way that it's still very masculine and it's just, it's just fantastic. Uh, you might, um, you know, think that if you go strictly by seasons, if you're a seasonal shaver, you'd probably think that this was more spring, summer, but I could use it any time of the year. All right, number... I didn't smell that. Oh, you didn't smell that, sorry. Yep. Whoa, whoa, we almost dropped it. <laughs> we almost had a lung emergency. What do you think? Thumbs down, really? It's not again. Get, really get your nose in there. What do you think? No? Thumb down still? Kind of. Kind of. Okay. All right. Okay, coming in at number five. So we're hitting the top five now. Uh, this was Moon Soaps Amaretto. So I only have a couple from Moon Soaps. Uh, I have this in Sorrento, but this is just a yeah. really, truly fantastic yeah. scent. This is a gourmand scent um, to the T. It's a it's a really great base. Mm. Big thumbs up, huh? What do you say to that one? Thumbs up. Thumbs up, all right. Um, it's a great base, it's a great value. It's like $20 for six ounces of soap. One of the better values out there in wet shaving. Uh, they render their own tallow. And um, I can't, mm. 
I just, I, I want to eat it. It's like a biscotti. It's so, so good. All right, number four. Uh, this was a purchase I picked up in the summer. One, this is three, two, four, three. five soaps. Shark bite. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Five of life. Uh, and this is uh, pineapple, pear, coconut, and wood. And I think I think my daughter's gonna like this. Let me see. Why do you smell? <laughs> What's your reaction? Let me see your reaction. <laughs> yeah. All right. This is her. This is your favorite one. Yeah. This is her favorite one. This is both my kids' favorite one. Uh, this is just an outstanding scent. It's a really good base. It's a really good value. Uh, it's a 5.8 ounce tub. Um, if you haven't checked out 345 Soap, you should. I don't think Shark Bite is currently available. Uh, I know um, John has a couple other newer releases. There's a, a, flan um, a flannel one uh, with a beaver on it. There's um, uh, another one with a truck and a tree and it's like uh, raspberry and um, some and vanilla and, and and I don't know if it's pine or fir or whatever. And then I think he also has a um, um, a tobacco bourbon something else. But anyways, I haven't tried those ones yet. Uh, he has a new base out that he just released. This is a this was I think thirteen ninety five for five point eight ounces. So it's like less than two fifty an ounce if I'm doing my math right in my head real quick. That that's number one for you. Yeah. Yeah. So I think he added some additional butters like, uh, and milks, uh, camel milk and something else. And so he upped his uh, base. So I think his current soap is slightly more expensive, but you're paying for some higher quality ingredients and you're still getting a 5.8 ounce tub for less than, uh, I think, $15. So um, really, really good. Okay. Let's get back on that stool. All right. Okay. All right. So that was number four. I got six lights. Six likes? All right. Uh, number three for me, Star Odyssey. I don't know when this came I out. I hold it up too. You want to hold it up? Okay. I'm not sure when this came out. Um, this is a um, inspired by scent of Eros. And uh, I think if I, I might have, I can't remember if on Razor Ruby Undead, I misspoke. That's Enigma. Uh, I might have said Eros, but this is Eros. Uh, this is a this is also in the 3.0 base. So Michael went back and reformulated all his old soaps with a 3.0 base. It's a really really excellent base. Um, it's a it's it's a fantastic I, scent. You were um, not for me. Oh yeah, you gotta smell it. Okay. Thumbs down. Oh no! Ah! Are you kidding me? Okay, well. You know, you, you, can't, you can't have the same taste in everything, right? Uh, this is a, just a fantastic, fantastic scent. Um, when I got this, I was like, wow, I was blown away. So this beat out, um, you know, a bunch of the other first line stuff for me, even though I think it's one of their older ones. All right, number two, Dr. John's Flowers in the Dark. Uh, this is just an outstanding lavender scent. I like lavender. This is lavender, what do you think? Thumbs up, you like it? All right, we got a thumbs up. So this is a vegan soap. Uh, it's a non-tallow based soap, but it is just outstanding. Um, I've only been wet shaving since June of this year, which is really not all that long in the grand scheme of things. Uh, it's taken me a while to kind of build up my software collection. So a lot of things that I have in the den, um, are actually more recent stuff because I've just started purchasing more things, um, especially like I, I got a bunch of stuff on Black Friday and et cetera. So this was one of my very first artisan purchases uh, to begin with. So I think I had a, a wet shave product barbershop and then for Father's Day, I had actually sent a link to this to my mom to buy and she bought it for Seven me. likes. Seven likes, awesome. I would it. Um, so she bought this for me uh, for Father's Day. The label art is fantastic. It looks like it should have been a Halloween release, but it wasn't. Um, I don't know when this originally came out or how long it's been around, but I picked it up in June and this is just fantastic. I used it a lot this summer. It's a nice lavender, but it's got like a coffin wood, I think, and so it's got a darkness to it as well. So it's not super, super bright, um, but it's just, just amazing to me. And the base is really good as well. All right. My number one scent of 2020 that I purchased uh, was also one of the um, scents that I got early in my wet shaving. I need this one too. Okay, well that's for a different list. No. This is the last one for this list. 
Um, so um, this was also something that um, I purchased early in my wet shaving. So again, I, I just really started wet shaving in June of this year. Um, I kind of had one foot in. I was using some ProRosso stuff with a brush, but I was still using a Mach 3 razor. So I had not yet discovered any of the artisan stuff. I had not shaved with a, uh, a DE safety razor. So it wasn't until June that I kind of got, got all the gear and got everything. So I, I guess she gave you a preview there. So Stripe Gold Shaves on a stain is my number one scent of 2020. I didn't smell it. You smell it? Like it. Like it? All right. All right. She likes it. Okay. So there you go. Don't fall. Um, this soap is based, um, inspired by a now uh, discontinued Ultra Zest, uh, scent of Ultra Zest. I'd never smelled that. I've never been into cologne. I've never been into fragrances. So, um, you know, trying to figure out all of this stuff and the wet shaving, what smells like what, I had no idea what a fougere was. I, I mean, I, I was completely ignorant. I, I did, there's so many things that I don't even know. I'm like, what does that smell like? I mean, when this is lavender, okay, I knew what lavender smelled like. But anyways. Um, this one too. Oh, this one too? Oh, she's adding a, she's adding a, um, a, Shell out to the list, so which is a good soap, but it didn't make my top ten. But it happens to be sitting on the counter, and the kids really love it. When they like to shave, uh, we use Chella a lot. Um, so, anyways, Strike Gold Shave Honest Abe is my number one. It's a fantastic. It's got a very nice citrus top, but it's not too over the top citrusy. Uh, it is really, really amazing. Uh, this came out, I think, 4th of July. This was also one of my initial uh, wet shaving purchases back in July. And this scent, probably more than anything, is what kind of pulled me into the rabbit hole of artisan shaving soaps. Uh, I, I, like I said, I got um, a barber shop from, I think, Wet Shave Products. And, and I one got... more. Okay, hold on. And uh, oh, we also found some ProRosso Green. So uh, I still got some uh, classic in, in my den, uh, and this is a really good one. You can smell it. You want to smell it? Okay, you can smell it. Um, so, so I'm sorry, I'm trying to wrap it up. Uh, anyways, this probably is a I, scent that- I like it. You like it? Me too, awesome. Um, pulled me into wet shaving because when I smelled this, I was like, wow, that smells really good. If there are more scents like that out there, I need to find them. And that kind of started my search, started my Instagram, uh, and everything. So Frank, uh, you put out an awesome scent in this one, um, and uh, Frank's been uh, an outstanding uh, guy to work with. I've got a few things from uh, Strike Gold. Got La Bufana in the mail, which hasn't arrived yet, but I know that's not his fault. Um, I ordered it kind of late anyways. I didn't get it right when it dropped. But um, I'm looking and forward to trying one. that. And that one, oh yes, that's a, <laughs> that's a sterling one. That one's good too, you can smell that. Um, I have a bunch of soaps laying on the counter. So um, anyways, mm, this, like this was it. not my number one. And this is the only set that I actually have a backup set of. Yeah, and it, this one. It's that good. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, again, this is just my list. Uh, my den is still growing and there's still a lot of stuff I haven't tried. There's a ton of things. There's a ton of uh, places, um, artisans that I have yet to try. And so I'm really looking forward to trying a lot of new things in 2021. This little soap commander, that was good too. And there's some more soap commander, which is also an excellent soap and a good value. So um, anyways, hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below what were some of your favorites. I'm always looking for new things to try. Okay, let's stop picking stuff up now. I'm almost done, okay? Um, so hey, leave some comments um, below about some, what some of your favorites are or were. I'm always looking for new things to try and uh, maybe I'll, you'll throw something out there that piques my interest. So happy 2021. Hopefully this is a better year for all of us in many, many ways. Uh, hopefully we'll all stay healthy and um, have a successful year. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon on the channel. What? Oh, she said say Merry Christmas. So Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thanks and I'll see you soon.